He's trying to get going as here, look, now comes the lead battle. Collard and Shadon absolutely nose to tail. Which way does the Honda go? To the outside, Shadon tries at the first part of the complex. They're up towards the hairpin now. They're absolutely level with Gordon Shadon on the outside. And remember that these two had a little brush, to say the least, in the second race of the day. And now they're fighting for the race lead. Collard ahead. Well, this is a replay of what happened in race two, where the front-wheel drive car has a bit of an advantage just at the start of the race, tires up to temperature very quickly, but and, he, and Shedden is trying to attack Collard before his tires go off. Uh, Collard, we know, should have more pace at the end of the race. That's not possible. He has to duck out of it. Has to duck out of it. But, but Shedden is trying everywhere. Up. He's really trying because he wants to take advantage of his tires while he still can. Here they come up towards tower, Collard covers the inside line, Shedden dives to the outside, late on the brakes. He can't go all the way around the outside, so he wants the cut back. This is exactly what happened in race two, Shedden gets the inside. This time they don't lean on each other, but Collard stands his ground on the inside, going down towards the Jim Clark S's, he's back in the lead, but Shedden's alongside, through he goes, fantastic! Gordon Shedden into the race lead, absolutely fantastic move. That was incredible, I mean, Shedden pulls off some of the most fantastic